Happy Wednesday, my fellow strangers, it's Mrs. Strange here again. On today's episode for Stranger Universe, I will talk about fan theories and predictions proposed by you guys in regards to Stranger Things 4. Before we start, please like, share, and subscribe to see more episodes from Stranger Universe. Please turn on your notifications to attend video premieres and get a chance to interact with Mrs. Strange and other Stranger fans. Help get this episode to 1000 views and likes if you really want to see us release more Stranger Universe episodes like this one. Please don't forget to share this video across all social media platforms to help fans and viewers join our Strange family and find this great Stranger Universe content. And now, let us begin. I would like to give a big shout out and special thanks to our friend Nerbo for creating those intros and for being the one to bring up this idea for a video. Today, I will go over fan theories for Stranger Things Season 4 that you guys submitted in the community post I made a few days ago. Looking ahead, some of you had very interesting things to say and it got me thinking about what could happen in this season. Our first theory comes from Z Frostbite, who says, the song in the HNL security room teaser, Quand le bien aime reviendra, translates to, when the beloved will return. The song is about a young girl losing her memory because she experienced something called psychogenic amnesia because she thought her lover was dead, but she found out her lover isn't dead and her memories returned. So I'm guessing they will either tie it to Elle having memory loss from what happened in the lab or from her losing her powers. Yeah, I actually feel the same way. We kind of went over this in our most recent episode about the Nina project. The lyrics may not be meant literally, but the song could definitely be used in a brainwashing sequence, with Eleven at the center of it. I definitely think she was there during the massacre at Hawkins Lab, but doesn't remember a single thing because she was most likely brainwashed. I wouldn't be surprised if the song itself is played whenever this Nina project is seen on screen. Next up, we have Ashley Dean, who says, One of my theories is that if Eleven gets humiliated at the roller rink and runs out crying, Mike realizes that she's been bullied and defends her honor by punching Jake, which leads to Jake's posse beating up Mike. I think Eleven gets so emotional over this that she regains her powers and uses them on Jake slash his friends for hurting Mike. This in turn will lead to her arrest. Yeah, I can see that happening, but based on certain set leaks and the audition tape for Angela, it sounds like Angela will be the one instigating this public humiliation for Eleven. As for Mike being involved, who knows really, we only have few leaks regarding the roller rink. I don't remember for sure if Finn Wolfhard was there, but Millie Bobby Brown and Noah Schnapp were definitely seen there. However, one thing for sure is that Eleven will be arrested one way or another, so beating up Angela may be the reason why. Our next theory is from Jacob Nelson, who says, My theory is that Peter Ballard will be revealed as a major villain who's involved with the Vecna or has something to do with Eleven's time at the lab and Dr. Brenner. Yes, that seems to be the case based on set leaks from last year, which showed Jamie Campbell Bauer seen in the same area as Matthew Modine and Millie Bobby Brown. Peter Ballard is definitely connected to Hawkins Lab and I think he's number one, so maybe he will be there during the massacre when it happens. As for Vecna, maybe he is connected to it. Now we go to Sophie, who says, I noticed that when you search up Stranger Things for release date on Google, it says mid-2022. I did some research and the day that marks the exact middle of 2022 is July 2nd. This would make sense because it's confirmed that the season is coming out in summer and the previous season was released in July. I also noticed that it's the 183rd day of the year, that number is similar to Eleven saying day 185 in her letter to Mike in the California teaser. Now this is something that some people have been thinking about, but it is just a mere coincidence. July 2nd, 2022, is a Saturday, and Netflix will definitely not release the season on a Saturday. I think day 185 in the teaser itself is a bit confusing, since season 3 ended in October 1985 and 185 days after that will put the events of season 4 in April even though we know it's March 1986 based on set leaks. What we do know for sure is that season 4 is indeed coming out in mid-2022, and I still bet on July 1st being the release date until the date announcement finally reveals it. Here we have a Tom Grant, who says, Victor Creel is Vecna. This is because the actor said he had a scene where he lost an eye, just like Vecna. I also believe the Creel house is Vecna's lair, as it seems to be a key part of the season. That's an interesting theory. Vecna is definitely related to the Creel House storyline if set leaks from last summer are anything to go by. As for Victor Creel himself, yes, he may have had an encounter with Vecna in the 1950s when he moved in. Either the Vecna killed his family, or possessed Victor to kill the family himself. It should be a dark storyline, indeed. Next up, we have Sci-Fi Person, who says, It would be kinda cool if the Upside Down is actually the future. The end is near. That's how season 4 will end, they will lose, and then the fifth season will be them trying to save the world, Infinity War Endgame style, or something like that. Yeah, this could be another possibility. 
It is theorized that season 4 will end on a big cliffhanger, with season 5 picking up right after it. Another possibility, similar to Avengers, Endgame, is that season 5 will pick up right after season 4, but will then jump forward in time, most likely to the late 80s, maybe 1989 for the gang's senior year of high school and the year of the nostalgic decade. That is, if season 5 is really the last season. The upside down being the future of Hawkins has been a theory as old as time itself, something lots of people thought about after seeing the first season back in 2016. We shall see if that ends up being the case. Next up, we have Relic, who says. This isn't just for season 4, but I think Will Byers turns into the Mind Flayer in season 4 or 5 and the Mind Flayer we see in the show is just a future version of Will. Wow, that is pretty dark. I don't think this is going to happen because it's such a dark fate for one of the kids, and even though Will Byers has been the one in the Upside Down and the one with the biggest connection, there has been nothing suggesting that he will be the Mind Flayer. Next up, we have Rory Dickinson, who says. My theory is the Nina Project has something to do with Sarah. Hopper's daughter, and I think she is still alive, and working with Dr. Brenner. Well that would be quite the plot twist, but Sarah Hopper coming back from the dead would be detrimental to Hopper's character arc in the series. Although there are some similarities to her hospital looking like Hawkins' lab, we would have to see if season 4 will answer more from this aspect of Hopper's life. Next up, we have a theory from Psychoplays, who says. My theory is that the episode Papa is actually meant for Hopper escaping Russia, and that's the big reunion of the team since Eleven is considered Hopper's daughter with the adoption papers. This is definitely a good guess, especially being the predecessor to the season finale, which will surely be massive. I do think that Hopper will escape the prison earlier on, maybe in episode 4 or 5, but I can see him reuniting with Joyce around episode 7, and they make it to Hawkins for the final battle in either episode 7 or 8. A big family reunion should hopefully happen, although we don't know if all the groups will be split up before we even get the chance. And last, but not least, our final theory comes from Kitty Catlana, who writes. My theory is that we will get hints that Will will come out as gay in season 4, based on his project shown in the fourth trailer. He and Eleven will be major characters in this season, and Steve may have a possible chance of dying in this season. Will Byers being gay seems to be a possibility, based on the fact that the show's Bible created before the first season described Will as being a kid with sexuality issues, and then there's the whole argument in season 3 where Mike explicitly says that he doesn't like girls. His school project definitely adds more fuel to that fire. As for him being a major character alongside Eleven, I hope that is the case, because he didn't get much to do last season, and I really hope the two of them share scenes together. As for Steve, God, I hope he doesn't die, but if this is really the darkest season, someone major must die. We shall see who ends up dying when season 4 comes out this summer. Overall, very exciting times. And that is all that we have for today. What do you think about these theories for Stranger Things 4? Today's special shoutout is for Resheth. Comment down below to become our next special Stranger Universe shoutout. And don't forget to follow us at its Straniverse on Twitter and Instagram to stay updated with us every day. Click on our Discord link down in the video description or the comments section below to join the official Stranger Universe Discord server. Also, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to Stranger Universe. Please turn on notifications to never miss another Stranger Universe episode again. Help get this video to 1000 views and likes if you really want to see us release more Stranger Universe episodes like this one. Don't forget to share this video across all social media platforms to help fans and viewers join our strange family and find this great Stranger Universe content. This episode was brought to you by Mrs. Strange, and this is Stranger Universe.